Hi guys and girls, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails and I found a little trick which allows you to take back more than one large fish. And by large fish I mean the ones, hello, by the ones I mean you have to strap to the back of your horse and generally you can only bring one back of, back to the trapper or, you know, butcher, whatever you want to call it. Or even camp technically. So what we need to do, this location is in the swamps and it's in particular here where this little mark is in Blue Water Marsh near La Grasse La Grasse I can't pronounce anything so just take my word for it I'm saying it wrong so essentially there's quite a lot of shallow water here so our first method a big fish over there. Um, the first method is to get a fish to drown itself. And I don't tend to come across alligators in the water here, however they are on the banks. But I'm just going to push the fish in the water towards a shallow area behind the tree here. either shoot at the water if you want to but generally if you move big fish there so it's shadow they will just move if you go near them that's a big fish and has he drowned himself yes he has the water is too shallow so now we have this long nosed gar And I have a little camp over here, so right now I'm just going to press the cook. So I should automatically go to that camp because it's very nearby. And all we need to do is make one gritty fish. That's it. And then press stow. Then cancel out of the cook. Completely. And that was a long nose gar, so if I bring up my satchel, I actually have 10 long nose gar because I've been doing this for a while now. And you can also do it with the channel catfish and also the lake sturgeon, any large fish in particular. Will work, actually, thinking about it. Technically, anyway. Uh, yeah, so drowning fish gives you three star, it's quicker than the fishing. But obviously you can like shoot them if you want. But it does like diminish the quality of the fish, so you get less meat out of it. And you also um won't sell it for as much to either the trapper or the butcher. Let's get a improved bow. There's a big one there. really hard to shoot them especially in swamp water because you can't really see them but it works the same if you shoot them and pick them up cook the first part and then it'll just add the large fish to your inventory so yeah that's essentially how it can be done there's another one there somewhere why do I always get rain? Is that a live snake or a dead snake? That's a dead snake, okay, that's good. Yeah, there are very few alligators in this area. That's a big fish. Try a knife. There we go. And that is a channel catfish. Again, that was only one star because, you know, we used a knife on it. Fishing is the best way, or let them drown. But sometimes if you come to this area, again I'll show the map. Um, there's quite a few crocodiles to start with, so I got rid of them. Crocodiles, alligators even. Um, yeah, if you come to this area, you know there is shallow water and you can often just find them on the side anyway. There are some largemouth bass. You can get quite a bit of money for them as well. 
So we're just going to do the cook thing again. So, yeah, cook. I will be heading over to the trapper in Sandini, or Saint Dennis as I call it. Ignore my phone. So we go back. Hello, horsey. Uh, so we've got six channel catfish now. See if we can do it again with a gar, but no guarantee. Just want to make sure the value is increasing for you, so there is proof, even though you can see it by rewinding. I can't see any fish. They'll be there, they always are. I'll bring the map up when I get behind the tree as well because you can generally find quite a lot of dead fish on the banks. Pick up a snake. I don't want to pick a snake up. They do just spawn all the time around this area. But if you do have any trouble, just get your fishing rod out. And you can attract more fish. Water's too deep to cast here. Oh, they're over there now. They look like bass. Do it again. Hopefully the water's not too deep. Because it takes forever to actually catch a large fish. So this is reasonably quicker. Okay. I'm not going to catch it, don't worry, because that'll take forever. If you just get your rod in the water, it attracts more fish anyway. Especially if you flick it. Flick it! Right. Oh, thunderstorm. Right. Guide the fish. You can shoot the water, it scares them as well. generally guide them. See, something beached itself over there. Just there. Some, some up there as well. Oh, they're still swimming. Go on. That was a bullhead catfish. There's something else there. What was it? Oh, there was two. That's why your hunter vision thing is useful. Click goes my headset. Hunter vision is really useful at night as well. Yeah, there's a little one there. Chain pickerel. This is what I mean. It's definitely a lot easier. Quick look round. Big fish over there. Lots of big fish. And they have killed themselves. Whoop de do. So I'll do that for these fish. There's a catfish and a couple of gar by the look of it. Go on, keep moving. Please drown or not drown. Go on. Hurry up. You're stuck on a fish, I know. Go on, dude. There we go. So this will be catfish seven. Cook. Again, cook only one of the gritty fish because it leaves the fish intact for some reason. You might be able to do more, but I just do one to get a bit of food out of it as well before selling the fish. Leave. Satchel. Yeah, we've got seven now. So after these two gars. Bullhead catfish channel. Yeah, right. So there's two gar on the side. So we'll go up to 12 of those. Hello, gar. Could actually get my horse involved here. Put it on the back of the horse. And take back to both of them, I think. I nearly lost my words again there. 
Not very good on the words today. Just stick it on there for the sake of it. It's easy to call a horse than it is to run half a mile. I mean, this location is good because it's very close to where it puts your camp if you decide to cook food. And it very rarely moves your camp as well. So we will stow. I'm going to go over and get my other fish. So when I check my satchel, we'll be up to 12. So we're at 10 of the gar. I know it's boring, but... If you want easy large fish fishing, this is what you do. And they're, they're worth quite a bit as well at the trapper, which after cooking this fish, I will be going to. Back. Satchel. So the gars are up to 12. Because normally, again, as I said, you can only carry one large fish and that'll be on the back of your horse. But if you cook one of the meat, it will let you put the rest of it as the fish in your satchel. So that was a very vicious thunderstorm. I don't think you can sell them at Le Gras, Le Gras, whatever you call it. Um, so I am just going to go over to the trapper in Saint Denis. And fast forward. And now we are at the trapper in Saint Denis, or Saint Denis as I tend to call it, and been corrected several times. Shush people. Right, so we are going to sell what we have caught. Chain pickerel, one dollar. Three of the bullhead catfish, which I think I got one in that area, or three, clearly. Um, two dollars twenty-five. Uh, normal, normal. Largemouth bass. Caught three of at two dollars each. So that's six dollars. A uh, bluegill, because there are apparently some around at seventy-five cents. Uh, the channel catfish, one of the large ones which we were catching, are two dollars fifty each. So we got six of those, and that's fifteen dollars. Alligator teeth from the alligators, clearly. Big game meats from the alligators, which I, I do have a lot already cooked up, so I will sell it. Uh, venison meat is from a deer. And the gritty fish, are these the ones from the larger fish? Which, you know that first cook? That's from that, they're 25 cents each, and now we have 56 of them, so it's $14. And the long nose gar, two dollars fifty each. That's thirty dollars for twelve. So it is worthwhile doing it, and it doesn't take that long to do either. Um, in that area, there are not that. Sorry, there are not that many um, alligators either. So I do hope you find this video useful, interesting, or helpful in some way, shape, or form. If you do so. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't already, and happy trails!